Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to a different kind of video, something we haven't done at all, ever, on my channel, I don't think. So, this game is Fallout 76. Fallout 76 is a bit of a weird one. Uh, a lot of people say it's a trash can, a garbage fire, the bugs and everything else just murdered it entirely. And, you know, that is true. On their account, it is, it's is—it's very true. The game, you know, has seen a few issues, and I am not going to defend those issues because <laughs> they have happened and I have experienced them. Uh, but I actually really never gave Fallout 76 a chance, and also I, I love Fallout, so I am going to be delving into Fallout 76. I know that they're releasing a DLC... I completely forgot that that was happening when I just wanted to start playing until like maybe after I finished all of the playthroughs that I did for this video specifically. Uh, when I did those, after I'd finished those, I realized, oh hey, the new DLC is coming out and then, you know, it got pushed back again. Uh, but Bethesda is going to launch that patch and everything, so that's going to be really fun to kind of delve into. But I kind of just wanted to get into things, and I, I kind of like Fallout 76. I kind of have, you know, Fallout always has a spot in my heart, so I kind of wanted to just give it a chance. You know, you see a lot of people in the game, like in-game, that are over level 200. Like, they have just been grinding and playing away and having a good time. So I feel like I can be one of those people, I, I think. You know, I think I can be one of those people. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the character creation. So I basically made me... He doesn't look like me. I tried. It just, it doesn't work out. The hair's wrong. The the nose is wrong. The chin is wrong. I, I don't know. It's really hard to make yourself in like the perspective of actually making yourself. It's very difficult. So I kind of just left it there and just went with it. I named the guy. My dude said oof. So you guys get to see his name. Uh, is is it means nothing. <laughs> so it's just there. It's there for a placeholder for me, basically, just to get my dude into the world. Um, the build that I'm going to be going after, so I kind of did a lot of research for the build specifically so that I could build a character that's actually pretty decent uh, with two different types of, types of weapons. So I actually originally had planned to make this video for, uh, not this video, but this like footage for a different kind of video. So this kind of video is going to be uh, like a storytelling video where I would story tell you kind of like my journey through Fallout 76. I was going to take just like a, a nice, I was going to take chunks of footage and scrap them down and basically do what I'm doing right now. This first episode, kind of like the stuff that I was going to do prior, but I didn't really want to do that again. I didn't really want to, not again, but I really didn't want to do that. That didn't seem like a very fun thing for me. So I was like, you know what, let's just change it and just play Fallout 76 and have a good time and just record that stuff and, you know, see what happens. You know, stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. But this, so this build was originally going to be um, a one-handed pistol boy journey. That's what it originally was supposed to be. So it's a one-handed pistol build. Um, so we are fighting with one-handed while we are, uh, you know, shooting with a, with a one-handed pistol that's not automatic. So it's kind of like that. So the build is completely around those types of perks. So in strength, we have a lot of... The, we have all the gladiator basically we have just two that we're not using from the gladiator so we're using gladiator expert gladiator and master gladiator we're using blocker we're using incisor and martial artist those are all going to be all going to tie into my one armed and just the damage output that i'm able to do with my one armed and then blocker gives me a little bit of health while i'm attacking these people and this build is supposed to be outside of power armor although i probably will put on power armor a lot just because when you go into nuclear zones you need it or you need like a uh, radiation suit but power armor is going to be way better for that specific reason um with perception so perception i only had one perk in there and that's going to be crack shot crack shot is basically just gives my pistols a lot more range and a lot more accuracy that's kind of the thing that went with crack shot endurance kind of just went with some quality of life quality of life things so natural resistance slow metabolizer thirst quencher not thirst quencher because i realized that's the wrong one it's actually dromedary it's just the ones that make your food and your water go down just a little bit slower type of stuff there and then also in that is ironclad so that is the build for the non-power armor so ironclad basically whatever armor i'm wearing is buffed while i'm not outside while i'm not in power armor so it's kind of that that thing that i'm doing Charisma, I went with only one. Again, Lone Wanderer. 
Lone Wanderer is basically, and that's maxed out completely because I play a lot by myself and that's kind of, you know, how I play games. I kind of go around by myself and have a good time just by myself. And I realized that, you know, Fallout 76 is a bit more social. It's a bit more, it's a, a game where maybe teaming up with somebody is maybe a better choice, maybe something that you actually want to do. So with Lone Wanderer, I don't have to do that. I get buffed while I'm by myself. So... <laughs> That's kind of what I did. Intelligence, I went with a lot of other quality of life things that would let me uh, build my certain pistols, build my certain one arm one armed weapons. Um, weapon artisan, you know, give me some of that stuff. Armor and first aid, kind of just a couple things there. And then uh, for agility, that's where the gun the gun is. So we got gunslinger, all three of those levels. We got some ammo smith, so I can make more ammo. And then white knight as well. I forgot what white knight did. Um, you can roast me in the comments. I just, I don't remember what it did. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, and then for luck, and again, just quality of life. Bloody mess increases the damage output you do. Um, good with salt. Food lasts a bit longer. And then quick hands are a little, little bit faster. That's kind of how the build goes. So most of the build is centered around just the one-handed and the pistols, while there's just a couple other things in there that's going to help me, uh, you know, along the way. Stuff that's going to help me along the way. So first of all, uh, I you know I, I do enjoy this game and I have been enjoying this game quite a bit. I have a bunch of actually episodes backlogged already, ready to go, because I have been playing the hell out of it. Because there was an XP weekend that I got to be involved with, so I was playing that. I was playing the XP and I loved it. Uh, but I do want to talk about some notable moments that happened with the the original gameplay that I was doing for a completely different video. So the first notable moment is when I exited the vault. A really nice dude was dropping crap and just letting us take it. I watched, I, I took the stuff, I took what I wanted, I walked away, I turned around and I saw him from exit from his stealth boy and put more crap in it and then walk backwards and wait for new players. So that was kind of interesting. I, I kind of got a good laugh out of that one. And then the next thing that happened to me was even more weird. I got into, I got myself into the middle of a dog gang war. I'm not lying. I, I, I can't be lying. I got sandwiched between normal mongrels, dog mongrels, you're seeing this on screen, and mutant hounds. And the mutant hounds came up from the road and the mongrels came up from the bridge is what I remember. Maybe it's the other way around. But I was going to Morgantown. I was just almost into Morgantown. I just almost got to the train station and they just swarmed me. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So I had to fight those guys off. That was a little bit scary because I was a little bit low health during that moment. But that was really, really weird. That's the first time it's ever happened to me. I've never had that happen to me before. And that was nuts. Really nuts. The uh, next thing was I did build my first camp. I kind of built it on a little bit of a hill, you know, get it out of the way. And so that stuff really couldn't spawn behind. It'd have to spawn lower. Um, I do end up moving that be just, just because that it's kind of just like a really small starter base. It's something that I can have a little house with so I can put my stuff away and actually have things to hide in, in the stash and put my junk somewhere. It's basically just somewhere where I can go and rest and get, you know, my extra XP from being well rested. Then the, one of the last things that happened was while I was playing, Morgantown actually was full of very, 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 and I cannot stress this enough, very powerful ghouls. Like, what the hell? Powerful, powerful ghouls. No way. It sucked, okay? It sucked. I could not kill one of them. I died. I died actually trying to fight one because I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I can fight these. Maybe I can win. Maybe I can do this. I lied. I, you know, I lied to myself. I thought, you know, I hyped myself up for just death. That's what happened. Got absolutely murdered by those guys. And they were just everywhere. They were literally everywhere. I couldn't go anywhere in Morgantown on that day. I like I had to switch servers. I didn't really get that at that point. So I, would, I just kind of stayed away from Morgantown after that for the rest of the playthrough. I didn't know what happened. I didn't know why why there were so many high-powered enemies there, but it, it was there. It was there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this playthrough. Kind of not playthrough, really. It's kind of just a play or enjoyment uh, of things, because I don't really, I don't really, I'm not playing through it, and I'm not giving you guys detailed quest logs and, like, all the quests that I'm on and like every little detail that I'm coming across and doing it's it's just kind of having a good time and playing it and just kind of deciding how I want to level up and how I want to you know disperse my perks in that kind of sense so that's kind of just really all I'm doing with this build just kind of chilling 
just chillaxing. Um, but for the video posts on this, I did say in my update video, if you watched that one, the channel thoughts video, I said that I was going to do something of these sorts where I was going to do six videos a week. It now may be five or six. Uh, these do take a long time to make and not, not necessarily a long time to make, but a long time to get the footage. Uh, I'm not just playing an hour or two on this game. I can't. I can't do that. This is an MMO. It's a massive multiplayer online RPG. Therefore, it requires a lot of grinding stuff. There's a lot of materials you need to grind for. There's a lot of things that you need to get. The leveling is fairly slow. So maybe one to two hour episodes just aren't going to cut it. They're just not going to cut it. Um, anything from three to five hours is going to be good, and maybe even more than that, depending on how high of a level I am, is, is going to be the main thing. Um, I know that in the next couple of episodes, I have a lot of XP because we ha it's the XP weekend, so I actually leveled up quite substantially in only about three hours. So it was a really good session, and it was able to I was able to do a lot of stuff. So I'm thinking five to six videos a week, so one to two of the, this one specifically. So you'll definitely get this video on in like in the middle of the week, but maybe towards the end of the week you might not just because of the fact that maybe I didn't do enough, maybe I didn't play enough. I'm gonna try and schedule this game in just a little bit more so that I can play it a lot more and have a good time with it and kind of just get that footage whenever I want to. So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of that stuff. So uh, that's basically gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this <laughs> little series that I'm gonna have going on with it. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying everything else on the channel. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.